Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be writing with the Noveler Nautilus fountain pen. It was a pen that was recently sent to me. I'd originally tried it at the 2022 San Francisco Fountain Pen Show and it really interested me. But this time around it was sent to me by Gold Spot Pens, so thank you very much to them. There's a link down in the description below if you want to check it out. It's an affiliate link. Uh, but this is a fantastic pen and I just wanted to make this video showcasing how it writes. It's got a beautiful double broad nib um, and overall I think it's a fantastic pen. Uh, Noveler, formerly known as Narwhal Pens, makes their steel nibs in-house. This one's a number six steel nib. Uh, and I think I've, I've used three Noveler pens in the past and their nibs have been great on all of them. This one is the double broad which I believe they recently came out with a couple months ago. Um, and I'm a fan of super broad nibs and this one definitely fills that niche for me. Uh, this one also has uh, a, a sailor ink from the San Francisco show as well. I got this one from Tokyo Station Pens. It's a uh, sailor shoe Arushi. It's a, it's a wonderful red, deep and rich. I'm definitely a fan. You can see the imprint there. Uh, it looks pretty cool. It's got that uh, uh, narwhal. I think Noveler is narwhal in Icelandic. I think they changed their name uh, to something uh, a little more searchable. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you can see, the double broad nib is just, it's got an amazing ink flow. It's just, it's awesome. I mean, <laughs> I've been using this for about a month now, and I've really enjoyed it. You can see that grip section there. It's uh, made out of some amazing green ripple ebonite. This pen is also a piston filler, as I'm writing down here, which I'm a fan of. I love piston fillers. And the one on this one is pretty good. Uh, then, of course, it's also got that green ebonite. Ebonite's a great material, hard rubber. Uh, it's super warm in the hand, and it's not really that commonly seen. So I only have a few pens made out of ebonite, and... I, I enjoy all of them a lot. It's just, it's a very unique material and, and really great. And then, of course, uh, the Nautilus in general is sort of a C motif. You can see the ink window there. It's shaped like a porthole. I was talking actually to Frank, the uh, guy in charge of Nautilus, and he said that the Nautilus series came from a nautical inspiration with the ink windows resembling portholes and the metal ring featuring the engraving of waves. You can see right there uh, the sort of stylized waves on the cap band. The body of the pen in general, hello there, <laughs> uh, the body of the pen in general is very straight. There's no tapering or anything like that. Um, so it makes for an overall pretty unique design, as you can see in the wide shot here. Um, but I, I think it really works. I really do like it. Um, and it's definitely earned a, a special place in uh, my writing rotation. Of course, we've got to go for uh, the quick brown and fox jumps over the lazy dog. In general, the Nautilus is a pretty big pen. Uh, it's made of ebonite, so it's not that heavy. It's It sits very well in the hand, but you can see here it, uh, it stacks up pretty well against these other pens. Uh, that's a, from the top down is a Pelican M800 uh, pen BBS uh, vacuum filler. I forget the model. Then a Jinhao 100, 
um, a Laban Formosa and a Conklin uh, Durograph demonstrator. And those are all fairly standard sized pens, whereas the Nautilus is a little bigger, but again, it sits perfectly in the hand. So with that in mind, uh, I really don't have many more comments on this pen other than I've really enjoyed it. I think for what it's worth, it's a great price. Um, and yeah, I think you should at least give it a look, give it a consideration, add it to your collection. Um, it certainly offers something unique that not a lot of pens offer, and so I think it, it brings a lot of value to the table in that sense. I'll leave you with me writing some uh, excerpts from Sherlock Holmes. I picked up uh, a copy of The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes from Barnes & Noble when they had their half-off hardcover sale, and I've really been enjoying it. So I'll just let you sit with the sounds of writing. I hope they're satisfying as always.
And uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little overview of the novel or Nautilus. Like I said, it's a pen I've really enjoyed. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.